We've come to Tokyo for this week's photo shoot. I'm going to take some long exposure shots of a few bridges on the Sumida River. Um, the first shot will be of a bridge that you can see in the far distance with blue lights on it. That one is called Shumi Dagawa Ohashi Bridge. I plan on taking shots of both bridges along the banks of the river. On the far side, you can't see it from here, but there's a terrace that you can walk on that lines the river. And I'm here on this terrace, which is a uh, Seems to be quite popular for people walking their dogs and going for jogs along the river. So for the first composition, um, I wouldn't say this is going to be a great shot. As you can see here, I don't have any leading lines and no uh, foreground interest. Primarily, I just like the colors of the bridge and the lights in the background. I want to convey a message of what it's like along a major river in central Tokyo. I'll be shooting in ball mode for 60 seconds at an aperture of f22 ISO 100 and uh, we'll see how it turns out. For this shot of Eitai Bashi or Eitai Bridge, I think I can use the uh, terrace along the shore of the river as a kind of leading line. This shot will be for 1 minute and 10 seconds, aperture f22, ISO 100. For the final shot, I'm going to zoom in as far as I can using a long telephoto lens and try to catch a shot of Sky Tree, uh, the largest tower in Japan, which is also located here in Tokyo. This is going to be a 50, I'm sorry, a 30 second shot at F20, ISO 100, shooting a manual. So let's check it out, see how it turns out.
For this next composition, I want to catch streaks of lights from the car headlights and car brake lights as they cross over the bridge in the distance. Uh, camera settings for this shot will be for uh, 1 minute 30 seconds, aperture f4.5, ISO 100 shooting in RAW. photo shoot of taking some bridges along the Sumida River. Um, the photos I don't think are technically very good. Uh, we're missing a lot of leading lines or foreground interests. But um, it's just nice to get out and uh, if you happen to be in Tokyo, if you have a chance to come here and you're anywhere close to Sumida River, I would highly recommend that you take the time to come down to the river and enjoy the nice promenades along the coastline that uh, are made for a nice walks or dog walks or bicycle rides it's very nice very quiet winter time is a little bit cold but uh it's very nice and it's uh, very relaxing it's good for your soul so um i found this little shrine next to the river here i don't know the name of it but uh okay it's nice to find these little um artifacts of uh cultural history mixed in with uh, modern engineering feats so Anyway, that's all for today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next week. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, see the video description below. I'll also be including uh, access information how to get here in my blog, and the link for the blog will be in the video description as well. Okay, so good job.